I would love to speak to you. Okay. You don't have to put it on the camera if you don't want to. Oh, well, sure. We might as well put it on camera. The yeah. job of the journalist is to ask the questions, allow the person to speak, and just report the facts, what was spoken. Would you like for me to pull up the definition of journalist? That's okay, but thank you, Julianne. Okay. I met Julianne, a diehard Trump supporter from Texas, who was in Vegas for a gun show. I have a God-given right to speak my own truth. She still believes the 2020 election was stolen. But there are facts, right? The facts have shown that the election was stolen. Whether you're willing to look at that and accept that and really sh show what's going on, that's your issue, not ours. We want the God-given freedom that our Constitution and our Bill of Rights is based on. God-given constitutional mm -hmm. rights. Yes. They're two different things, right? No, sir, they're not. Read, R-E-A-D, the Constitution. Read it out loud to yourself uh -huh. so that you hear what the words of the Constitution say. God isn't mentioned in the Constitution. Sir. You had to learn the Constitution to become a uh, U.S. citizen. No, I didn't. You did it? No. You did I, not have to learn the Constitution I, or the I, Bill of Rights I, to I become was, a U.S. I, citizen. I was born a U.S. citizen. My mom's American, but um, this is this isn't about me. You just made a statement. You made a. You tried to make what you what you're but, considering so, is a factual yeah, but, statement so how, but, that God is not talked about in the in the Constitution and Bill of Rights. Okay, yeah. okay, hold on. I could pull it up on my phone, too, if we can okay. do it. Okay. Sure, go yeah. ahead. I'm trying to. I might have just gotten something wrong, which they'll probably use that to... Okay, you have the... Cons what you let, have me, let me say this, and right. this is probably why I get it. In the United States, the federal constitution does not make a reference to God as such. Although it uses the formula, the year of our Lord, which is capitalized in Article 7. Yes. There's only one Lord capitalized L-O-R-D. So there is a reference to God in our Constitution and in our Bill of Rights. There's one. In Article 7, in Article 7, go read it. One reference <laughs> that states the date. One reference is enough. It refers to the year of the Lord, capital L-O-R-D. There's I, only one Lord. Do you know how many times God is mentioned in this? In the Constitution? Zero. Yeah, it gets mentioned once, I think, our Lord, just in terms of in the year of our Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Evangelical Christians, uh, of which I am one, I'm a theological evangelical, they are generally operating under the assumption that the Christian God is all over uh, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and then I'll just invite them to read it. Uh, let's read it together. And let's just highlight all the spaces that anything uniquely Christian uh, shows up. And you'll notice that we have not had to pull out our highlighter. There are certainly ideas that have been shaped throughout human history by the Christian tradition. It's not powerful.